If you're trying to figure out how much to save for your retirement, you might find several different answers. Vanguard recommends 12 to 15% of your pay each year. Dave Ramsey says 15%, and The Money Guy Show says 20 to 25%. So what is it? Where are they getting all of these different numbers from? And what's actually going to work for you? Financial planning is very specific to an individual and family, but here's one fundamental principle that you need to know. The amount of time you have before retirement is connected to how much you should invest if you want to reach your goals. Let's look at the data. If you want more videos like this, breaking down the data behind investing, be sure to subscribe so you can join the Market Moment community and get notified when every new video drops. Now, let's get back to the data. To illustrate this, I made an Excel chart. Here you can see I've inputted the median salary for a college graduate with the retirement age of 70, assuming a 7% return and a retirement goal of 1.5 million. Now, why did I pick 1.5 million? Well, I used the generally accepted principle of a 4% distribution from your retirement accounts. That's considered a safe distribution and we will not argue that on this video. I'm talking to you, Dave Ramsey. So if you started investing at 20 years old, all you would need to invest is 5.75% of your salary each year. That is, if your goal is around 1.5 million. If you just wait five years, you must increase your contribution to 8.18%, and that continues to rise if you wait any longer. If you waited till you were 30, then you would need to contribute 11.7% of your yearly income. And as you can see, the longer you wait to start investing for retirement, the more of your salary you need to contribute towards it. So starting sooner is almost always better. Now, this Excel chart is wildly oversimplified. Few people can set a target percentage to invest at 25 years old and stick to it for the rest of their life. But we can keep playing with this formula to demonstrate general principles. For example, what if you wanted to retire earlier? Or what if you wanted to retire with more? Maybe your company pays a pension so you don't actually need as much income from your investments. But before I go into that, make sure you like this video if you find it helpful. It helps us know that we're on the right track towards making financial literacy simpler and easier to understand. So let's say your annual salary is closer to 55,000, but you have the same goal of around $1.5 million invested and retiring at age 70. You can see that you must invest more of your income at each age. If you start at age 20, instead of 5.75%, you would need to invest 6.27%. The same is true for later years. Now, a lot of people have a dream of retiring earlier. That could mean trying to retire around 55 or 65 instead of 70. If that is your goal, then investing will be forced to be a higher priority as early as possible. Here's the same scenario, but now the individual would like to retire at 55. At age 25, they would need to invest around 25% of their income to do this. And if they waited any longer, the necessary amount becomes close to impossible, with over 35% of your income going to investments if you wait till 30 years old. Now, I'm not trying to make early retirement feel impossible. It is possible, especially if you're watching this and you're 20 years old, but it takes consistent action over a long period of time. So it's not that Vanguard, Dave Ramsey, or The Money Guy Show are wrong. All of the numbers that they recommend are accurate depending on your goals and your situation. It completely depends on you. If you want to retire early, you might need to invest more than you currently do. But if you like your job and you're okay working longer, maybe you should consider investing less and spending more now. My hope with this video is to provide some clarity around the confusion. And if you are in that 20 to 30 range and you haven't started investing yet, Here's a video to give you the basics on how exactly to get started.